Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to manage your DNS using Dynadot. Dynadot is my favorite domain register. They always have great offers. For, for example, like now XYZ is going for $1.99. And uh, you can register a .com domain for $11. You can transfer for less than $10. If you want to transfer your domain to Dynadot, it will be less than ten dollars for the transfer so without much ado let me get in as you can see um today i've created a new account i've created a new dynadot account for the purpose of this video i really want to show you all my other domain so i wanted to use this account for the purposes of the recording as you can see i purchased this domain today it uh, okay this is august 8th uh, it will, okay, yeah, this is the registration date, August 8th, which is today. And uh, I've not added any DNS records, so I'm going to show you how to add DNS records. Okay, my websites, uh, all my websites are all stayed on a uh, virtual private server, that is VPS, and I'm using a cloud panel, or cyber panel, I'm using cyber panel, okay, for web hosting. So if you're using cyber panel or any other panel, uh, you just follow the same steps. So for those who are using cyber panel, just go to DNS, login, and then go to DNS. Under DNS, go to add or delete records, and then make sure to choose, select the domain that you want to work on the DNS records. For this re for this purpose, I'm working on this domain name I purchased today, which is joshwp.shop. So I want to add different domain records, uh, DNS records, and uh, we're going to start with the first one. As you can see currently the DNS setting is set to dyna.parking because it's a new domain. So I'm going to change that. And then, okay, I'm going to change this to dyna.dns. And then I need to add new records. So on this top part, you can see here, this is where, this is what I call adding domain, the DNS records at the root. So this is where you had them at the root, at the root. So here I want to add the first one, it is a record and the IP address, that's my happy address. And then in other, in, uh, other domain, registers there will be another option for adding the at sign but in this case we don't need it because this top section already everything is added to the root of your domain name that's why we don't have that extra box so i've added an hair record to dynadot and then another thing i need to do you can just click save save the changes that's the first record I've added. So if I go to, as you can see, okay, this is my record. This is um, no, a record. The first a record is, uh, I'm adding it to root. So joshwp.shop is the root. And then this is, and then these are the values, which is um, the IP address. I go back to dynadot. Now I want to do something else. Just click, tick on this box. Just click on that box. And then you have here, yeah, actions, click on actions. Again, you want to go to DNS settings, click on DNS settings, open DNS settings. So we have this one record we have added here. We need to add another record. In this case, we need to add a sub domain. Okay, a C record. Uh, this so we are going to add a subdomain in this case should be ww and then the record is seen in the IP address, the target also will be um, Josh WP dot shop and then click on save go to scene so this is the scene which is ww ww is the subdomain and then this is the value, okay? The value was George WP. Okay, 
Now we want to add another different record, different record. For example, you may not want to use Dynadot's name servers. So you may want to use your web hosting name servers. For example, here we have name servers, which is NS1, NS2. These are the name servers uh, for cyber panel. You can change them. You can also add your website to Cloudflare and Cloudflare will also give you name servers which you need to add. So I'll show you how to add name servers. Too. So we need to add name servers. Before we add name servers, we need to register name servers. So I'll go to name servers and uh, under my domains, we have these name servers. And then I want to add register name servers. Click register name servers. And then I want to, that's the name server. This, want to hide name servers. The first one was, um, this was the first one. The first name server. And then I want to register that name server. Then we do that again. Register the second name server. Okay, the IP address. And then Okay, this is okay, this is the one we use, and then this two. As you can see, NS two, it's NS two, and then after that we can just click register. So, and as you can see, we have registered both M servers. Currently, they're not in use, so we go to manage DNS. Click manage DNS. Okay. I want to click on uh, select the domain you're working on and then actions I want to go to DNS settings click on DNS settings and then here I want to select something different I want to go to name servers and then now I can add name servers I can select this name server copy Copy it here and then the second name server. Copy it here. Then names change name servers. We save name servers. Give it a second. And now our domains are managed through that name server. Okay. See these are the name servers from our VPS Cloud Panel. Okay.